Okay, 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 okay. I know that a ton of people have tried to go through the gameplay that we've seen and also the subsequent interviews that 343 have given to the media, but what I wanted to do was take a closer look at some of the things you might have missed or not heard about in this video. As always, please like the video if you enjoy it, as it really helps my channel because it's dying, it's dead, it's, it is very sad, but... If you want more Halo videos, let me know in the comments down below because I'm super excited for Halo Infinite and I'd love to make more content on it, especially if people are receptive to that. So, all right, without any further ado, let's hop into the five things you might have missed in the Halo Infinite trailers. The Palace of Pain. In the trailer and demo, we see a monolithic structure in the distance that may or may not be the fabled Palace of Pain. We have learned of these locations not in the game, but from books and other forms of media, and see that it was home to immoral testing of the Flood on the uh, ancient humans by the Forerunners, who were trying to find a cure for the Parasite, aka the Flood, but probably went about it in a really mean and semi-unnecessary way. It's been believed that the Flood from the original games have been destroyed, but perhaps there are still some lingering specimens hidden away in the structure, and that maybe accidentally, on purpose, they will be released by the Banished or some other faction. As we saw in Halo Wars 2, the Banished have a tendency for letting the Flood out of contained spaces. I love bees. The scene that we see the boot-up BIOS in Chief's armor, there's a myriad of numbers and tech mumbo-jumbo that I, and probably a lot of other people, think is just there for aesthetics, but as the numbers and letters change, we see something very special pop up. S-P-D-R, or SPIDER, which stands for System Parallel Distributed Reflex, which came from the popular Halo 2 ARG, I Love Bees. In the Halo universe, the SPDR system is actually something that's used to repair damaged AIs that are, you know, too damaged to repair themselves or are suffering from rampancy a la Cortana going nuts because she's having a midlife crisis or, you know, whatever is wrong with her. So knowing all that, we can assume that this suit has been created to quote-unquote fix Cortana and cure her of her rampancy. I think we'll hear faint whispers of Cortana in the release of the game, but I actually question if we outright retrieve her and throw her into the machine and basically WD-40 and duct tape her up so she's nice and new again. I think it could be an expansion of sorts later on down the road in Halo Infinite that we really get into the Cortana storyline and wrap that part up, but let me know in the comments what you think. It also seems that Bloom is in the game, but it's kind of unclear how it will work and how much of an effect it has. Uh, the weapons that you see firing, such as the pistol and AR, do have blooming reticles. And again, this is only in campaign, so we don't know if that will translate to multiplayer. This could just be a mechanic that's being used in campaign to kind of add a bit of difficulty uh, to you fighting enemies. But there is Bloom. There's absolutely bloom in Halo Infinite, at least in the campaign. The database, and it, it seems that, you know, similar to terminals in previous Halo games, this will act as a sort of lore and background device to help players further their knowledge of the game's backstory. I think this will be a place where you can either scan things from the environment or collect certain artifacts and have them stored in this location, a la the database, to be read about later on. Could it be more than that? Of course, absolutely. But I find it interesting that it has a tab dedicated to itself in the menu screen. So maybe there will be a lot more involved with this section. Um, I hope so, at least. It would be very cool to see pictures of aliens or fauna. I don't know. Any type of, of lore stuff and games that you can have direct access to, I think, is amazing. Locations. On the same menu screen that we see the database, we also have our TAC map that shows locations and points of interest. Blue locations on the map, such as Echo Base and Golf Base, could be ally locations where we can interact with members of the UNSC that have survived, or those might be locations that we can liberate. The red locations on the map seem to be enemy locations. Remember kids, red is always bad. The gun battery location is actually yellow, which means that it's probably a current objective or mission that you, you, you're you on right now and is an immediate part of the story. 
There's also some other interesting locations on the map, such as Marine Rescue, which can be found in the left corner of the map, where we can assume that there are Marines in some type of trouble and might need a big strong boy to come and save them and liberate them, and you can bring them on missions and whatnot. But again, we have to wait to see. That's it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know if you want me to come through and see if we can find more things that we may have missed in the Halo trailers and gameplay videos. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out.